So you and your partner are in love, but your sex life sucks. What do you do in that situation? Well, don't panic. By the end of this video, you will have a better appreciation of what can interfere with your sex life and how to better communicate in a more intimate way with the one you love in order to build a better sex life. Now I can hear you saying, but Mickey, you know, we're already in love. Half the battle is already won. Everything's fine. Everything's going pretty smoothly. You know, is sex really that important? Yes, we are created as sensual beings, not just sight and touch and taste and sound. We're sexual beings as well. And in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, we're actually given the leave cleave and become one flesh edict and it we are told that mankind will leave their family cleave unto their spouse and become one flesh it doesn't say they will become one mind it doesn't say they will become one spirit it says they will become one flesh the fact that becoming one flesh is emphasized shows the importance and centrality of sex in a relationship. First and foremost, it's important to get to the root cause of your crappy sex life. Once that's done, you can work with whatever challenges you're facing. Now, there are certain medical challenges that you must take prescription medications for and those medications may be lowering your libido. Now the good news is you can always talk to your doctor about having your prescription changed or seeing if there are alternative medications that you can work with so that it does not affect your libido. Stress and fatigue may also be affecting your love life. You know, it's unfortunate we live in a society today that almost demands a dual income household. And so both partners now are out working, you know, 40 plus hour work weeks or what have you, and they come home and they're emotionally exhausted, physically exhausted, and sometimes even spiritually exhausted. No wonder there's no time for good sex. Now, one of the desire killers that you really <laughs> can't do much about is parenting, all right? Parenting sucks the life right out of ya. It really does. I'm a mother of seven, I know. But as my stepmother would say, hey, you can't sell all your kids to the gypsies, so you're stuck with them. But if this is part or the reason for your low sex drive or your poor sex life, you, you, there are things that you can do within the confines of being a parent to help alleviate that. The last reason that we're going to discuss in this video that your sex life might suck is because of the unfortunate fact that your partner may just be a lousy lover, you know, or you may not be the best lover either. And that's okay. Don't take that as a slight. Here in America, especially, you know, the sex education system is a joke. All right, and has completely failed us. We're not taught how to be great lovers. And regardless of what Hollywood or the movies, you know, or the romance novels tell you, sex is just not that simple. Great sex is not just simple. But the great news is two people who do love each other can actually work together to build their sex life into something wonderful. What is it going to take? It's going to take, like all good relationships, wonderful communication because we are not mind readers, okay? Your partner's not a mind reader. You're not a mind reader. I'm not a mind reader. None of us are. So we need to share what it is that we want and desire and what we're capable of. We also need to practice humility in our sex life. C.S. Lewis once said, humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. When we're in a partnership, 
it's important that we be thinking about our partner's desires and needs and wants. So when we're thinking about our partner's needs, necessarily we're going to be asking them what they need. That is going to help build the intimacy. And I promise you, greater intimacy equals greater sex. Now there are five types of intimacy. You have emotional intimacy and spiritual intimacy, intellectual intimacy, experiential intimacy, and physical intimacy. And the stronger that the first four are, the better the fifth can be. So we know that sex for men is typically very physical, whereas for women, sex needs to be mental and emotional. A woman must have at least some sense of security to enjoy really good sex. And a sense of security is going to come from feelings of trust and respect from her partner. The only way to know that she has those is through the experience of good communication and intimacy. So I hope you can see there that for men, sex is much more linear and for women, it's much more cyclical. So the task at hand for those who are already in love but want to build a better sex life is really good communication and strengthening that intimacy to create a stronger desire within that relationship that's already a loving one. Now that you understand the importance of good communication and understanding the root cause of your less than desired sex life, I encourage you to watch the other videos that I have on sexuality and relationships that may pertain to the challenges that you're facing. Now, if you don't see a video that is pertaining to what you are specifically being challenged with in your sex life, I encourage you to leave a comment and tell me what it is that you would like to learn more about. As always, I appreciate you for taking the time to tune in to my latest educational video and I look forward to seeing you again next week.